All right, so we've got the 10 strangest questions buyers have asked about a home. So this is kind of funny, and I thought we're going to follow up next week with the strangest and most extreme requests realtors have had. But this is the 10 strangest questions. And, guys, feel free to jump in if you know or have want to add to this. Uh, how do you keep – this is from actual a, a buyer. How do you keep alligators from coming up into the toilet? True story, Michael Lyons, he's a real estate agent down in Hollywood, Florida. That was a question asked him. This one – do any swingers live in the neighborhood from uh, Kate, a uh, real estate agent in, um, let's see, City Chic Real Estate in Washington, D.C. Washington, D.C. Washington, D.C. Oh has that. Swingers. swingers in D.C.? Oh, my God. I oh, my imagine. goodness. Does the car in the driveway come with the house? That's uh, <laughs> an agent. Hey, I, now, yeah. Now, Bob, I've got one of those. We had oh. we recently had a house that went with an estate sale. And there was a uh, an MG3 that was left in the garage. Oh. And there was a debate about whether or not that was going with the house because it had seemingly been abandoned. And oh. the buyer asked us to put it in the report to help him claim possession of the car. So, <laughs> oh. And there are ways to do that. Uh, so, so make uh, note, but, uh, if, if down yeah. the road you're going to well, get we, a car, yeah. We had one where uh, uh, the the buyers were walking through, and uh, uh, there was a bottle of Pappy uh, on the cabinet, and uh, they threw that into the deal. But the thing was, it had to be consumed at the closing. Uh, so <laughs> by everybody attending, yeah. I, I waited until we were done, and then I allowed consumption to proceed. We move on here with this. Uh, Larry Pragel from uh, Gaithersburg, Maryland, said he was asked, is anyone buried in the backyard? How about that? Now, I don't know how anybody would know unless you uh, are there, a forensic actually, expert. There are ways. Uh, uh, there is ground penetrating radar. Okay. Uh, we've had some cases down in Washington County where uh, it was a, a farm that was being subdivided, and uh, there had been local rumors that there was uh, a whole slew of graves uh, uh, of an historic nature. Uh -huh. um, I think it was one of the first freed black communities in that neck of the woods right after the Civil War or cemetery, something like that. And uh, uh, they went out, uh, got UK out there to do the ground penetrating research. Uh -huh. It uh, didn't pick up anything. So they got out the truly reliable folks, the ones with the dousing rods, ah. uh, who immediately found all kinds of things. And uh, yeah. They were legit. They did find things with the dowsing rod. Uh, no, they found nothing oh. except oh, okay. the people with the dowsing rod said, "Yep, there's a grave right down here." Of okay. course, nothing was there. Well, I, but, I know, I know, I know of a situation where a previous owner of a home came back to exhume a family pet oh, that they decided ah. that they wanted to relocate to their new property. This and is I after closing. That. This after is, closing, like oh. two like two months after closing, and I understand it was made for an awkward conversation. Yes. Wow. No kidding. Another question. Are there any ghosts in the house? That seems to be rather common these days. This comes out of uh, Indianapolis. So there you go. Well, we had one with yeah. a uh, where the uh, home inspector said there were ghosts in the attic. <laughs> uh, <laughs> killed the deal. <laughs> it was it a wow. home team. It wasn't home team. No, no, home I, don't, I, don't, I don't have the right equipment because yeah, we all know who you got to call. Right. Yeah. 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 Uh, I like the house, but I need to pray about it. So that's that's not so unusual. Do you think the homeowner would give me the house without a down payment? Yeah, that that's a little more unusual. Mm -hmm. And then uh, can I come back at midnight to see how the moon affects my soul? Another <sighs> one. Final two here. Why is the garage unfurnished? I kid you not. <laughs> and, <laughs> can we close all the blinds and doors and turn off the lights? I just need to see this place at its darkest. So those those are some legitimate questions or comments that and questions that have been made about homes to real estate agents. We have a, we could write books about a lot of the stuff that we uh, we work with on a regular basis.